Hello and welcome to the third talk in our series on World Food Safety Day month-long celebration through June. Today, once again, I have with me Kareen Kemgong, senior scientist and food safety expert. Welcome. Thank you for having me, Vanny. Kareen and I are going to talk about hand hygiene and food safety. So as everyone knows, right, hand hygiene has been top of mind for all of us. Uh, we've heard experts stress the importance of uh, hand hygiene. Kareen, what are your thoughts on hand hygiene and how it impacts the food industry? Thank you for this question, Fanny. The hands of food industry employees, whom we owe a ton of respect and gratitude for working hard to get food on our tables, could unfortunately serve as transfer agents for foodborne pathogens. To further substantiate this, the US CDC estimated that employee hands were the culprit in one out of nine dis foodborne disease outbreaks linked to food handlers in restaurants. With this in mind, the food industry cannot afford to care less about hand hygiene. So it sounds like hand hygiene is important to prevent all foodborne illnesses. What is the compliance level when it comes to hand hygiene and food handlers? I really wish compliance levels were high, but unfortunately the level of compliance with regards to hand washing among food handlers is low. As the CDC in a recent report showed that food handlers only wash their hands one out of three instances when they actually have to do so. As a result, the relevance of hand hygiene education to food safety cannot be overemphasized, as hand washing, in the CDC's words, is a healthy habit in the kitchen. So, Kareen, can you tell us when hand washing is appropriate? It is my pleasure to do so, Vani. Hand washing should be strategically planned throughout key food preparation or handling stages. Specifically, but not limited to these stages, broadly, hand hygiene should be practiced prior to food preparation and food consumption. It should also be practiced intermittently during food preparation and after using the toilet, handling trash, or any touching any environmental surface. While this list is not comprehensive, I think if people could just take care of their hands during the stages as a baseline, then we will be able to ensure hand food safety through hand hygiene, through proper hand hygiene. That's very relevant information, not only for the industry, but all of us. Uh, can you tell me that Diversi, which is a leading hygiene company, what are the solutions that uh, we can provide to the industry? As a leading provider of hygiene solutions, we have a comprehensive food safety package that includes hand hygiene solutions. Specifically, we provide a range of antimicrobial and non-antimicrobial hand washes and sanitizers, which are delivered in easy to use formats that help to ensure compliance with proper hand hygiene. We also educate frontline employees on sanitation best practices, not forgetting hand hygiene. We develop customer assistance programs to implement key components to ensure compliance with proper hand hygiene. Last, but by no means the least, our food safety experts are role models when they go out there. Specifically, they wash their hands when they get into a facility. They wash their hands during appropriate stages of their operations within a facility. And of course, they wash their hands before leaving every facility. In the current world in which we live, role models are currently lacking. And we are so proud to say diversity employees are hand washing role models. It is so important to practice what you preach. Thank you for watching. We hope that we have convinced you to practice proper hand hygiene. To learn more, please visit www.diversity.com. Stay safe, stay healthy.